you go to McDonald's you know what you're gonna get amen KFC or Colonel Sanders what do you get there fried chicken biscuit five bucks I'm starving <laughs> You know, the pa when the pastor's hungry, he preaches about Chabé. <laughs> Remember that. But logos, I want to talk about logos. That is, you see it, you know what to expect. And the message today is simple, that we have a logo too. And you might think it's the, that thing up there, the plaque. But that's not a logo. It really isn't. It's just a sign that was made up by a couple pastors, you know. And there's a story behind it or whatever. And it kind of grew into something that kind of got out of control a little bit. But now it's starting to get back to normal. But it's not our logo. It doesn't, that's not me. That's not Douglas. That's not who I am. But there is a logo. And it's close to it. it it's, it's on there. It's the cross. It's the cross. The cross is our logo. And when you see the cross, automatically, you expect something. And when I see the cross, and when people see the cross, automatically what comes to mind Jesus and Jesus is the logo of God amen he came to show God <laughs> oh pastor Penamanga in Old Testament when Moses came to God and he asked him Kon son he says I am the great I am and then he gave a whole list of titles didn't really give names, he gave titles. Jehovah this, Jehovah that, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah that. They were titles. But when Jesus came, he came with a name. And he brought a name to the face of God. Jesus. Emmanuel. God is with us. And Jesus came to set an example for us. And his example is this, compassion. Somebody say compassion. Yet is some manga, but somewhere along the line, we're kind of losing our compassion as Christians. I'm not talking to church. Douglas, you're doing a great job. But a lot of us are losing compassion. And when a Christian loses compassion, Odujmano loves that. Now what is compassion? compassion. Jesus showed the example of it. Kanasas manus leprosy sazas. I konichi avaleste, konichi de dumalesa. He was basically blackballed. If you could say that, I don't know. But, he lived in the cave. Shudimelo. Don't talk to him. Don't deal with him. Nasti Biao, Nasti Jokanikas. Because Naswalosas. And if you touched him, Am I right? Okay. Huh? Mani me. Now, Jesus, I will on the photo. Jesus is the logo. And Jesus came and he did this and he and this man came out of the cave and have you look at Cristo. What a scene. Can you imagine? Because there's a crowd following Jesus. What him? Like this. A couple hundred, maybe more, thousand people. And Jesus is walking, he's talking, he's doing. People are touching him, people are chasing him, people sipping. And then all of a sudden, this man with leprosy, 
And if you ever see leprosy, go on the internet and type in leprosy. Uh, but not ha, because sit in Naswaos. My Naswarimos in the world. The parts are falling off your body. You're rotting away. You're basically rotting away. Yeah. Be muy, be was, be Terrible. And Jesus, Pito, and this man comes out of the cave, and the crowd, I can imagine, picture the crowd, what happened to the crowd. Nashle. They probably ran in four different directions. Mule! No! Matter of fact, it was the law. If they'd seen one, they could take a rock and shoot a rock. Shoot a bach palestic. Are you with me? Somebody say amen. Jesus goes. He falls on his knees. He cries out, Jesus! Because he heard the good report. He heard that this man could heal. He heard that this man does miracles. He heard that this man is able to do things that no one else could do. He heard about the logo. And he wanted to meet it for himself. The Bible says he fell on his knees and he cried out to him. Oh Jesus, did he worry about the crowd? No. Shinema, there's an important message here. Did he worry about the crowd? Did he worry about his reputation? Did he worry about what people were going to talk about him? Did he worry about what people might say or they might, they might not come to the, to the uh, uh, Sermon on the Mount? They might not come. Did he say that? No. But his compassion looked at him. And he could have very easily said, Be healed. Cristo chica da gada, Cristo gada gada, O Cristo golo. Can you see this? Has batanas. Diga chinesma. Chi santo marime. Chi santo melalo. Janap chukino, janap chupin. I know you need more than just a healing, you need a touch. You need to know that someone loves you, that someone's there for you. Can I tell you something? How many of you felt that touch on Anchotaya once in your life? Was it was? Some of you have not raised your hand, but some of you have raised your hand. And you know what I'm talking about when no one else would touch you when everybody seemed like they ran from you and nobody wanted to help you and nobody wanted to talk to you and nobody wanted to leave they just wanted to leave you they wanted to leave you for dead and you felt like you was at the end of your road at the end of your rope uh, can I get an amen? but you felt the very hand of God when no one else would touch you and then something happened somebody say man do you remember what it was I was once lost but now I'm found I was once sick but now I'm healed I was once sick <laughs> and now I'm not are you hearing me That's compassion. Jesus uses a, a parable. And he talks about a man who got robbed. And robbers, they came and they robbed him. I should then this be floor and they beat him half to death. And the Pharisee, every little, had to keep in I'll keep you in prayer. I just, my kind has got that. Oh. I'm gonna pray for that guy, Jesus. He, oh, I'm gonna pray for him. But you could that You with me? There's a deep message here. Ashinima. 
And then there is a covered priest. Mr. Dem. Huh? Yeah. Iwo Golo. Hey, Dali, but it's good. Hey. Hey, Dali. Hey, it's good. Hey, but it's good. Because of... Hey, it's good. I can't touch you because... Money me, Lord. I can't get blood on me. Saturday. Sabbath, I can't... Can't touch him. Well, Christo tells a story about a good Samaritan. And the Samaritan was Dallas. Come on now, somebody say amen. Samaritan Chico Lord, let's stay in Dallas, should Dallas go water so uh here, clean yourself up, buddy. Dick Sokadao was Samaritan. Are you with me? As about Danless. Was Danless. To then oil and wine, the list. Comforted him. You're gonna be okay, buddy. Hadi, come on, I'll carry you. Hadi, come on. Come on, I got you. I got you. I got you. Sit down. How did this? I got you. He took the time out, took it to the inn, paid it. Just didn't just drop him off. He made sure if this guy needs anything, I'll take care of his bill. Whatever he needs, I'll take care of him. Not that I, no charge, buddy. Come on now, somebody say amen. Have you ever felt like that? Have you ever been picked up? Now, you say to yourself, what does this have to do with McDonald's? Shout out to home. He's talking about Big Macs and now he's talking about Jesus. Shout out to home. Shabbat, if we lose compassion, a lot of us are becoming the Pharisee. We got the book, got the sticker, we got amens. Oh, we know how to praise God. Oh, we know how to get up here. We know how to, oh, hallelujah. We know how to do that. Oh, we got that down. But if you don't have any compassion on your chilesa, you're just a clinging symbol. You're just a sound. Chisantu chachimasa. Ashinisma. Ashinisma. How many people have you walked around? How many people have you passed? That you know Odell and Atute Penan. Je te dis malais ça. Au pisades. But I may was too. Oh, I gotta talk Douglas. So I'll, I'll call Douglas. Imagine going to McDonald's and you expect a Big Mac and you get something else wouldn't you get disappointed wouldn't you feel disappointed right you open up the little box and you're waiting for your Big Mac you're hungry and something's wrong with it sometimes in Romania we can live in a bubble just like the Pharisees lived in the bubble they lost their compassion matter of fact Jesus rebuked them and he called them vipers and he said they're like white tombs full of dead men's bones you know why because they had no compassion I'd have come to me 
this is a blessed church y'all got something great something beautiful something blessed got a good pastor he's all right he's okay not the body of the school he's all right he's all right but church is blessing me the message today is represent your logo now steep in this that you're a christian i need your compassion nasty penes because christian son but you hate your brother nasty penes because christian son but you're not willing to take the time out to touch your us but i mean we love the name tide we love that we love the we love it but i think buddha and mindy our eyes are more on that that we lost what it really represents Christ Jesus so may pin up toko where's your compassion jene in the back hear me where's your compassion and maybe i just stupid as you pastor you killing me you killing me it's okay Because I had to receive this. May Penab, I got it on the outside, but I'm missing it on the inside. May Penab. You know, one of the signs of compassion is, you know what it is, Douglas, and God bless you, because you recognized it. It's witnessing. Listen to me. Listen to me, please, Ton Sama, and I'm done with this. There's evidence of compassion. <laughs> compassion is just not just words. Somebody say amen. Compassion is it's not really. No. That's not compassion. The guy that the Pharisee had compassion. But he didn't do anything. Was that compassion? I heard a guy Joe preach this. I'm going to steal it. I like stealing. Gwam san. Yeah. I got the nail. <laughs> But he said a story. Douglas knows this story. There's a fire in the building. There's a whole building. And some fire and guys here in the building and they're out the window screaming yeah, yeah, they're screaming and the fire truck pulls up but I don't think that they jump out of the truck what does the fireman do they run to the building so they're not going to get out they get the hoses they get the axes they go they put on the helmet they go they run into the fire somebody say man because why they don't think about it but they know they if they don't do it they're going to die can i get an amen listen to me choir this is for you this is for you choir listen to me because your service is more than music are you with me amen Your service is more than the song. Listen to me. They're getting out of the truck, they're running in, but then there's one guy who's still in the truck. He's got his earphones on, his iPad. He's playing his video game. And he's just sitting there relaxing. Maybe smoking a little cigarette, kicking back. And he's relaxing. Everybody else is in the fire. But he's relaxing. Now I got a question for you. I don't know why I'm picking on yours. Cuz no problem. Oh guys, you that's in the fire truck. Relaxing. Is he a fireman? He's got the uniform. Coco, he's got the uniform. He's got the hat. He's got the axe. He's got even got a hose. But is he a fireman? I 
on to me. Douglas, is he a fireman? He's got the outfit. But really, Chachimasa, he's not a fireman. What makes him a fireman? Getting into the fire. That's what makes him a fireman. I'm here to tell you today. Buddha and Mindy were in the truck. Are you with me? Some of you are in the fire. Some of you are doing it. But some, for some weird reason, we think it's only his job. But I don't remember that being the calling. Mark. It's for everyone. So did you make a sick day that you know somebody that's going to go to hell? Was it your was? Well, you're not judging. You know somebody. Come on. Somebody. You know somebody, right? They're not living right. Naikatadel. Naikitreo. You know Naikatadel. You know Kanai Christian. You know Kanai Odel and Nigile. You know it. Duho Penotuko. Compassion. Choir, get back to it. Compassion. Compassion. Amen. Witnessing. Oh, you say, oh, how can I go witnessing? You got two hands? You got a mouth? Women? Let me tell you something. It doesn't take a rocket science to do this. It just takes Christ in you. It says, when you say, are you with me now? Are you now, because now you're saying, okay, all right, you got my attention. You got me. You got me, Pastor. All right, Big Mac, I got it now. I got you. All right, I got you. But what do I do, Pastor Chiches? I, I'm that guy in the boat. I'm, I'm that guy in the fire truck. How do I get the compassion? Can I tell you? Douglas knows because he did it how long 20 years ago yeah about 20 you know what Douglas did I tell you me the biggest drunk in the world my chokomanus that you can imagine but Odell was and you know something about Odell I want to use you let me use you can you give me permission to use you? Can you give me your lips and let me use your lips? Can you give me your hand and let me use your hand? Can you let me use you? All you got to do tonight is what is due to us and penis. Use me. I'm yours. Use everything I have. And that's what I did 30 years ago. I didn't know the Bible. I didn't know anything. Douglas didn't start off being a scholar. He didn't know nothing. A gypsy. Church is gypsy. But use me. And can I tell you something God can use? If he could use a person like me, <coughs> then he could use somebody like you. And sometimes, Shabari, it doesn't take a sermon. It doesn't take a sermon. You know what it takes sometimes? Just a touch. A phone call. A prayer. To say, Jesus loves you. Amen? Can you do that? I could do that. I could do that. Yeah, but pastor, I'm a bad person. 
God could use the bad. If he could use the donkey, he could use me. Trust me, Buddha and the Midian were waiting for something to happen. It already happened on the cross. He done paid for your sins. He declared you righteous. You're a holy. Would you stand with me right now? I know you're tired. I was going to preach two hours. Yeah. I'm sorry. Close your eyes for a minute. Choir, close your eyes. Ask yourself a question. Look at the compassion level in your life. Where is it at? I don't know. Is it low? Maybe you lost your compassion. You know what kills compassion? Choli. Choli. That kills compassion, you know that? Somebody argued with me, somebody cursed me, somebody Chudadama, somebody Pendenwalaso. Right? Can I tell you something? Let it go. Let go of your bitterness, let go of your anger, let go of your Choli. If you want to be a logo of God, if you really truly want to be a child of God, all you need to do is say, Was it your was right now in the name of Jesus? And say, Use me. Use me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. If you're having a battle with bitterness right now, I want you to release it right now. Release it. Let go of the khuri. Some of you have been holding on to bitterness for generations. Let it go. Let it go. It's not worth to go to hell. It's not worth it to be separated from the kingdom of God forever. Let it go right now. Yeah, but you don't know what they did. God knows. They did it to Jesus first. Let it go. Let go of your anger. Let go of your bitterness. And penless because Jesus restore compassion in my life. Lord, I want to be used to touch the world, to reach out to them, and be the hand that touches. Lord, forgive me for being the Pharisee. Teach me how to be more like you, to follow your example, to be what you want me to be, and I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, have your way. Salam and amen. amen. Give the Lord a clap offering. God bless you. May the Lord bless you. We love you. God bless you. Amen. I, I need to ask a question. Does, is anybody here that wants to receive Jesus for the first time? Please, have an English. Is there anybody else here that wants to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior for the first time? Amen. Sarbushos. Joshua. Joshua, do you believe that Jesus Christ came, lived, and died and resurrected on the third day? Yes. Do you believe that He's able to cleanse you of all? your wrong and your sin forgive you and come in your heart and live in your heart yes do you want jesus to be your lord and your savior yes please close your eyes and repeat after me okay today today jesus jesus i receive you i receive you as my Lord, as my Lord and Savior, and Savior, I believe, I believe that you came, as you came and died, and died and resurrected, and resurrected on the third day. On the third day, today, today, I want you, I want you to come in my heart, to come in my heart, 
Change my life. Change my life. Change the way I think. Change the way I think. Cut every chains of bondage. Cut every chains of bondage. Set me free. Set me free. And forgive me. And forgive me. Of all my sins. All my sins. I receive you. I receive you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. I salve up in us. Amen. Hallelujah. It's good to be in the house of our Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's get ready to have us to do some our collection, our tithes and offerings, which is our form of worship. Larry did not know what I shared today. And I believe we've seen how God works in different ways. And we've seen how God spoke Odivano for us to be in Him. More that I pray for every person. Let it be a blessing on each person. Kaidel, let it be from a joyful heart. We pray, Devla. So go di chidas, Devil sun tutar. Provide for your church, Devla. Provide for your people. In Jesus' name, I saw the Amen. Let's praise the Lord. As I look back over my life And I think things wrong I could truly say That I've been blessed I got a testimony As I look back over my life And I think things over I could truly say But the Lord came brought me up Right now I'm free, I got a victory I got a testimony As I look back over my life And I think things over I can truly say That I am blessed I got a testimony
weapon formed against me gonna prosper. No weapon formed against me gonna prosper. Greater is he that is living in me. Greater is he that is living in me. I said, no weapon formed against me gonna prosper. No weapon formed against me gonna prosper. Greater is he that is living in me. Baby dedication, baby O'Connor. Please, to say in English. As they're getting ready to have in English, please, Manos Kaichidas and Daiskafidi, Ledevleski, Aven Getosame for that, please. We want to pray. I don't want to keep you too long. Let's pray for the family. Baby O'Connor. Baby O'Connor, Liam Owen Mitchell. Chebaro name. <laughs> Let's pray. Hold on to this. Before we dedicate Baby O'Connor, Dallas, well, Chesco, I want to talk to both of you. Your responsibility before God, te bariaren kakachaglata in the Word. And what about Penel? To bring him up I've in the word so that when he's big, he will not depart from God. This is your responsibility. It's not about bringing your baby and putting them all in white and beautiful, Sarsi, getting a piece of paper. It's not about that. It's about a responsibility. As an example, to me. Do you receive that? Amen. Father God, we bring baby O'Connell Anglatute from the top of his head to the soles of his little feet. Father, we dedicate him that you would take care of him, Rodan. That you would protect him, Rodan. Provide us every need, Rodan. And if it's your will for, you, for him to serve you, in any way he can. We dedicate baby O'Connor in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. I saw the pronounce. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. We pray on the Kako Semlo Kaisite Keras. Prepare your hearts. And this is what I want. This is how we're going to end service. As you're getting the bread and the cup, I want you to fill this altar. Okay? Gino, Sean, could you move this out of the way, please? Put it right over there on that wall. This altar needs to be filled. As we're ending church, as a matter of fact, I want you to take the cup with you. Asunen, that cup, I want you to take it with you. Put it in your car and leave it on your, on your car, somewhere that you could see it. As a reminder what you've done today. To remember Jesus' body and his blood. So as we're praying now, or Jews Kailas Devla that represents your blood. We pray Devla, we prepare our hearts, Devla. Mangasa Maro Yertimos, I be das Yertimos, Mugodan. Prepare us, Devla. Kako Semlo, Sutsumete Aven. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Amen. As you're getting your communion, please, Perenkako altar. Not one person should be sitting down. We need to take communion and come to the altar of Jesus. When, we, when you get communion, I want everybody at the altar including the choir. Amen. Sanctify us, Lord. Whiter than the snow, than the snow. My Jesus, my Jesus, God's precious, God's precious. We remember your pain. We remember Mgodachiduk. 
We remember, Mugodar, as we're worshiping you at the altar. We need to be thankful, church. Be thankful. Say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. And we continue to worship you, to be thankful, to ask for our forgiveness, to forgive those who hurt us. We're thankful because you saved us. You made us precious, priceless. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Shout to the Lord, church. Come on. Shout to the Lord, oh the earth. Let us see. Hallelujah. Power and majesty. At the sound of your holy name. Of your name. Thank you, Lord. Church, Vazenka Komango Pre. Omango that represents his body. The body that was bruised, punched, spit at, pierced because of our sins. Jesus, Vazas Kakomangoi, Dasa Mevojitute, my Lord, my King of Kings, my Redeemer. Thank you for your body. Dasa Mevojide, Vakachostato. Give them thanks, church. I come. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Vazas Kakotachtayan Latute, Deva. That it represents Devla the price that we were worth. Devla, I was worthless and you made us priceless. Thank you, Devla, for purchasing us with your blood. Dasa Megoji at every drop, Devla, Kaishordian, Palamaro Bezer. We thank you, Dasa Megoji. Give them thanks, church. I pen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't give the cups back. I want you to take it with you. And I want you to remember what you've done today. Amen. Uh, Nico or Angelo. Angelo, could, do you have the homework? The homework from the Bible study? Angelo, please come up here. If you need the homework for Thursday night Bible study... Please, Avenco Angelo, Angelo, please give out the homework. Amen. The prizes and the points are going to be given out Thursday. Who's the first place, second, and third?
for the girls and the guys. Amen. I'll see you Thursday. God bless you. Jean de Vlesa.